Yesterday, we found out that our boy Ali is going to be a main villain and antagonist in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Today, we are going to talk about a thousand and one ways how he could be evil and how big of a threat does he pose to the Rangers. Is there a possibility that he takes out the Rangers and that's why they have to call everybody? And what about Javier's arm? Javi's Cosmic Fury suit has a robotic arm. What are the chances that our boy Ali just cuts that thing off? Let's talk about it. Hit that intro. I can't do this on my own. Cause you know things ain't always sweet. When you out here in these streets. But my morpher when it morphs, I made a fake one. When I found out yesterday that Ali was going to be a villain, I was actually really excited because there are a thousand and one ways that you can do it. So we're going to talk about some of the fan theories that I have, and then we're going to open up the comments from the Ali video yesterday and see what the fans are thinking. Now, first of all, I think it's very cool that Heckle is coming back because Heckle was a villain throughout most of of Dino Charge and then in the end when he separated from Snide he started to become good and I think bringing in his character might be the mediator to getting our boy Ollie back to normal but how in the heck does this happen now we remember in the last season of Dino Fury he was under Regal spell and was basically doing whatever Lord Zed said what if regal's back or what if because he was already taken over once what if it's a lot easier to take him over again or what if like it's still in him like what if they say like it's a little virus and it can reactivate like oh since the spell was already under him we just need to get him to see this or look at this and we can counteract the whole thing he can work for us and be evil again what if him and amelia get into to like a big fight or something and he walks out and goes out on his own and that's when Lord Zed takes advantage of him similar to last season what if they do something different though man I am really excited to see what they are going to do with Ali because we already know that his character is kind of one of those people that you either love to root for or you love to hate. He is kind of the a-hole of the group, right? And I actually appreciate this character because we all have a buddy like this. We all have the buddy that's kind of the asshole of the crew, but once you get to know them and they open up, they're actually really caring people and they'll do anything for you but Ali needed to be called out on his crap now what happens if they kind of instill that back into Ali I loved when he became a villain last time what if him and Zed are pretty much just taking over everything and what if in the end like Ali's trying to like take over the world and trying to defeat Zed, take out Zed so he can rule everything, man. There are so many questions. The fact that they're bringing back so many different past characters, we hear Heckle's coming back, we hear Billy's coming back, we hear that Min's coming back, that's never been confirmed, but there's a lot of talk and rumors on that. We know that Fern's gonna be a ranger. What about Tarek? It seems like a lot of people are going to get their hands dirty, and we haven't even talked about the Morphin masters at all you can bet your ass that the morphin masters are probably going to show up at some point is that how they get their new cosmic fury powers i know there's a fan theory that zato goes out on a quest on his own and he gets the powers there are so many freaking ways that you can spin this i am so excited and the fact that we get a ranger that's like now a villain but he still has a blue cosmic fury suit so is that what he's going to battle in? Does he get the powers in the first few episodes and then in like episode two or three he turns evil? We do hear that Fern is popping up in episode three, 
Could that make sense that in episode two, he starts to turn evil and by episode three, he's taking out all the Rangers. They need to call reinforcements. What if Fern finds out that Izzy is really injured, but they need somebody to still save the earth or save, you know, the planet, the galaxy, if you will. And Fern's the only one there. It, there's a lot of questions, man. I am so excited. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think about Ali being a villain? How do you think he becomes a villain? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of the comments, let's see what the fans are saying. Katsiar said, just like the situation with Robo Rita and likely Scrozzle's involvement with that, seems as we already know he works for Zed. I feel like the writing on the wall is there for evil Ali too and why he becomes evil. We just found out that Heckle is involved as the Dark Ranger no less, which means the Dark Energem is also present. What do we already know the Dark Energem does to most people who touch it? Ali has always been arrogant and overconfidence, and his curiosity has always got the better of him. So I'd say if Heckle visits the Rangers and leaves the Dark Energem unattended for just a moment, Ali is going to be like, Shh, silly superstition, nothing will happen, and go and touch the Dark Energem anyways. And we all know what happens when someone without the correct training touches the Dark Energem. I can totally totally see this happening it all fits just a little too well now wouldn't that be a surprise if the dark ranger actually turns out to be ali and that is how he becomes evil and that is also a great fan theory because heckle is in this it totally makes sense man or what if heckle got the dark energy gem stolen from him and lord zed uses it to lure in a, a ranger and corrupt them and turn them into the Dark Ranger. There's a lot of theories, but I love where you're going, Kotsiar. Thank you for that. Jonathan said, it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Oh man, I know I'm so excited, bro. Roderick said, oh, this is interesting. Being a villain would be very cool. And yeah, I agree. I think Ali is going to get brainwashed because no way he would willingly turn on his friends. I totally agree, Roderick. There's no way that he's just going to be like, nah, I'm joining Zed. Something has to happen. And the Dark Energy fan theory is great, man. I love how this video kind of is going in that direction. We might have to make a separate video just on that in a few days, man. I love it. But let's get some comments. What do you guys think about the Dark Energy? fan theory let us know give us your comments we'll probably talk about this fan theory in a few days more because there's a lot of things just popping up man mid said maybe we shouldn't be getting all these spoilers this early and this easily i hope i end up forgetting most of them but a big part of me wishes to be surprised almost every episode you know what i do agree to a certain extent but i will say this you can call the these leaks leaks but these things are strategically planned and put out to get the fans talking. Everybody knew deep down that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire were coming back to the Spider-Man movie, but we loved it regardless. They're giving us small little leaks to keep the fans hyped since there is no new information right now. And trust me, this show, there's a lot more to it than just what they're telling us. Hasbro, if I've learned anything about them, they let us know what they want to let us know. It's very weird. You can call these things leaks, but I call them strategic little breadcrumbs, man. Freight Train John said, if all 10 episodes of Cosmic Fury are going to be packed with action, then all 10 episodes need to be around 40, 45 minutes each. Now, I don't think they need to be that long, bro. I think there's going to be a lot of action in these, a lot of good stories, and they can keep Keep it about 22, 25 minutes a piece. Uncle Dave's vid said, do you think that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers will make a cameo near the end? I do think there's a chance we could see like a ranger or two 
I don't think we'll see everybody, but who knows, man. Austin said, yeah, this season is going to be totally different and awesome. Douglas said, it's about time. They've had villains turn good, but why not have the opposite? And I agree because in the past, we've had like Rangers turn evil for, you know, like the Green Ranger had five episodes and other Rangers have had, you know, an episode here, or a two part like special where the Rangers turn evil but they always turn back what if we do go a full 10 episodes or something like that or seven eight episodes where Ali is like one of the main villains it's very interesting man I do like this because you're right they always like turn good at the end and maybe at the end of this he will turn good what if we go this whole thing here where for 10 episodes he's just straight up villain I like it. It's a really good fan theory. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Thomas Franco, Willie Maloney, Tim Rage, and Let's Talk Sports. Thank you guys for your support, and if you want video shoutouts just like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans, join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace.